Hello welcome to Objective Question Answer MCQ's YouTube channel. With a positive vibes let's start this video. Question number 1. The rearing of silkworms for obtaining silk is called. Option A silk. Option B cocoon. Option C silviculture. Option D sericulture. The right answer is option D. Sericulture. The rearing of silkworms for obtaining silk is called sericulture. Question number 2. Which of the following is not a type of silk? Option A Mulberry Silk Option B Tasser Silk Option C Muga Silk Option D Moth Silk The right answer is Option D Moth Silk Moth Silk is not a type of silk Question number 3 Pahali wanted to buy a gift made of animal fiber obtained without killing the animal. Which of the following would be the right gift for her to buy? Option A Woolen Shawl Option B Silk Scarf Option C Animal Fur Cap Option D Leather Jacket The right answer is Option A Woolen shawl. Woolen shawl would be the best gift as wool is obtained from the fleece of sheep which is removed along with a thin layer of skin from its body without causing any harm to the sheep. This process is called shearing. Question number 4. Silk fiber is obtained from. Option A fleece of sheep. Option B Cotton Ball Option C Cocoon Option D Shiny Jute Stalk The right answer is Option C Cocoon Conversion of caterpillar to pupa involves a weaving of net around itself. It swings from side to side in the form of the figure of eight and secretes a fiber made of a protein which gets hardened on exposure to air and becomes silk fiber that completely covers the caterpillar. This covering is known as cocoon. Silk fiber is obtained from this cocoon. Question number five. Wool fiber cannot be obtained from which of the following? Option A goat Option B llama Option C alpaca Option D moth The right answer is option D Moth Silk is obtained from moth, wool is not Question number 6. Selective breeding is a process of Option A. Selecting the offsprings with desired properties Option B. Selecting the parents with desired properties Option C. Selecting an area for breeding Option D. Selecting fine hair for good quality wool the right answer is option B. Selecting the parents with desired properties. Selective breeding is a process of selecting the parents with desired properties for obtaining special characters in their offspring, such as soft under hair in sheep. Question number 7. The general process that takes place at a sheep shearing shed is Option A Removal of Fleece 
Option B separating hair of different textures. Option C washing of sheep fiber to remove grease. Option D rolling of sheep fiber into yarn. The right answer is option A. Removal of fleece. At the shearing shed the fleece of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin is removed from its body this process is called shearing and is done by machines. Question number 8. The term sericulture is used for Option A culture of bacteria Option B rearing of silkworm Option C making silk fabric from silk yarn Option D production of saris. The right answer is option B. Rearing of silkworm. The rearing of silkworms for obtaining silk is called sericulture. Question number 9. Reeling of silk is Option A. A process of making silk reels. Option B. Spinning of silk fibers. Option C. Weaving of silk cloth. Option D. The process of taking silk threads from cocoon. The right answer is option D. The process of taking silk threads from cocoon. The process of taking out threads from the cocoon for using it as silk is called reeling of silk. Reeling is done in special machines, which unwind the threads or fibers of silk from the cocoon. Question number 10. Silkworms secrete fiber made of Option A fat Option B cellulose Option C protein. Option D nylon. The right answer is option C. Protein. Conversion of caterpillar to pupa involves a weaving of net around itself. It swings from side to side and secretes fiber made of a protein which gets hardened on exposure to air and becomes silk fiber that completely covers the caterpillar. This covering is known as cocoon. Silk fiber is obtained from this cocoon. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Objective Question Answer MCQs. And always remember, never stops learning, because life never stops teaching.